Free the heart, free the mind, free the Poussel. Now as you can see, World War C got the better of NYC. But it wasn't all bad, see. Now when the virus first took hold, the world turned to our fearless leader and he was nowhere to be found. So, we tried defending for ourselves. Now, it was all good until the food supply ran out. Now, the kings and queens and everyone in between, we were getting ready for pride season, so we were getting used to not eating. Then the water ran out and we gave the older gays our wine and beer and us younger ones, we stuck to our malt liquor and wine spritzes. Then the internet went out and we lost our fucking mind. We lost Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and OnlyFans. And before we knew it, people were fighting with each other left and right. It was utter chaos. But then from the ashes rose the most unlikely of a leader, and her name was Wendy Williams. Now, see, she had fallen out of the good grace of the LGBTQ plus community for quite some time, as she saw this as an opportunity. But as any good drag performer will tell you, you never trust anyone walking out of the house with that messed up of a wig. So, the smart ones, we went to hiding. Some of us went high, some of us went low, some of us even went underground. But we're rising up from the ashes, and we need a new leader. Now from what I'm hearing, there's a couple of people out there gunning for the same spot, but only one can wear the crown. So follow us along watch this competition unravel and stick around for the ending because i can guarantee it'll be better than any little game of thrones competition you may have seen in the past there's a few rules i want to go through with you before this all kicks off for starters if you were one of those people that were expecting me to do a death drop a kick a high split or anything such as that you better stop right now because you see during world war c i got a bum knee blew them both out can't do those anymore not my thing rule number two if you're one of those people that get offended real easily, you get triggered, or you get hurt by the things I'm gonna say and or do during this, go right back to bed because this competition ain't for you. Rule number three, and the most important one of them all, is not if, but when this is all over. Don't forget about your performers, the ones that provided you entertainment during all of this. Now, I know this is scary times, but I promise you we will get through it. And when we do, always remember to support your local drag. Now, this is Frida Pousset logging off, and just like Mike Pence during every Pride season, I'm going back into hiding.